Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Homestyle Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to share a snack recipe. You can have this as a snack or even for sambar rice or for curd rice, you can have this dish. And this snack is with sweet potato. With sweet potato, they make lot of curries and also they use for, you know, uh, in pulusu also, they use the sweet potato and make dish. So today we are going to use these sweet potato to fry it and we are going to make a nice crispy crispy sweet potato dish like how we make you know our kolakesha we boil the kolakesha we cut it into roundels and we deep fry it and we add some nice excellent you know spices and we have that kolakesha along with the sambar rice or with the curd rice so the same way today instead of kolakesha that is arbi i am using the sweet potato i am making the similar version so let's start how to make this dish so here i have the sweet potato what i did is i have boiled boiled the sweet potato i have not over boiled the sweet potato i have boiled it perfectly till it is al dante we don't want the sweet potato to be mashed so what i did is i have cut the sweet potato into nice roundels like this so we are going to cut them some more so friends here i have cut the sweet potato into nice roundels like this you can see into thin slices like chips and this we are going to deep fry in the oil. So here is the oil which is ready. Add it, increase the flame and we are going to fry them till we get a nice crispy texture and golden color. This will take around 3 to 5 minutes and then we are going to toss them in some nice spices. So friends here you can see our sweet potato has got colored perfectly. It should be like this. It is not overcooked. It should be slightly brown in color then only it is perfect. And now we are going to remove this, switch off the flame. If you want big, big, then you can take the big uh, sweet potato, boil it and you can use them. So here is the potato. You can put it in a paper towel if you want. And I'm going to keep this aside. Now we are going to toss them in some spices now. So I'm going to shift this pan. We're going to add very little of oil. The oil is hot here. We are going to add finely chopped onions and some salt. We want the onions to be slightly transparent. If you want, you can color this onions also. Curry leaves. I like to add, uh, you know, urad dal and chana dal to this dish. But today I forgot to add urad dal and chana dal. It will also give a nice crunchy effect. We want this to be slightly colored. You're going to add this sweet potato fried. Add very little of turmeric. And also the spices. Here is some chili powder. I love to add slightly, you know, spicy some coriander powder, some amchur powder and now saute this, you can see, switch off the flame and before switching off the flame, if you want, you can just check the taste and switch off the flame and adjust the seasoning. I'm going to have one piece, this is very, very hot, mm. crispy, salt is perfect, slightly spicy, sourness, we added the chaat masala and slight sweetish touch from the sweet potato. So friends, very, very simple dish. You can just transfer this into a plate. This looks slightly fried, but it's not over fried. It's perfectly fried. Nice and mm, crispy. Difference. once in a while you can try this. Very, very easy to make and simple dish. With sambar rice or with curd rice, this goes excellent. I hope you enjoyed this simple session of making crispy sweet potato. If you like it, make it, share it and also feed your family fresh, fresh food. See you in another session with some more recipes.